ready. Tell me what's running. Is it running? It's running. Okay. So Jamie is not an English pro, as everyone at Newmont knows. But there's one thing I do understand, and I still mess it up. But I got nailed once for a comma splice. You see it? Yeah. Okay. So let's okay. see if I remember how this goes. It's a little bit blurry. Is it blurry? You can tap on it. Tap, and it'll focus. Okay. We Excellent. Good? Yes. Okay. So Jamie ran to school, comma, he was tired. In fact, actually, I saw something on Facebook. Uh, a comma splice entered a bar, comma, um, it. Oh, no, I just used a pronoun. Uh, <laughs> ah! I Die shouldn't say the comma up. splice. It had a... Uh, oh, no! Oh, no! I'm oh, fine. The comma <laughs> splice had a drink. Okay. So, on the board here, the whiteboard here, we have four complete sentences. Uh, Jamie ran to school. He was tired. A comma splice entered a bar. The comma splice had a drink. So let's take sentence number one. I have a comma here with no conjunction, which is something we talked about in the other video. But essentially, I have to put a... Help me out. I don't remember them all. I think it's and, <laughs> so, or, uh, but. Is, isn't nor another one? Nor. Nor? Is that mm -hmm. all of them? You can do... So. Did nor, you and, so, or, but. Is that all of them, pretty much? I have to put one of these words in here because I have a comma. Basically, the comma is splicing two complete sentences together. So in this case, Jamie ran to school. Uh, well, any of them would work, but depending on the meaning I'm going for. I mean, I could put a but here. Uh, but he was tired. Uh, probably so would be a better choice here. So I'll put so. Let's see. A comma splice entered a bar, comma. The comma splice had a drink, so we could put and. So a comma splice entered a bar, and the comma splice had a drink. So essentially, when you drop a comma, and I know there's more rules for comma, but basically, complete sentence, complete sentence, when you drop a comma in the middle, you need one of these conjunctions. Now, I have a question, Kristen. Yes, sir. I really want to put it there. Just because the comma splice is three more words. Now, if it was Jerry, you know, or Jamie, Jamie entered a bar, that wouldn't happen, guaranteed. <laughs> it actually works there because with it, with comma splice being so close to the pronoun, it, it's better that way. But do you actually. think it is better? That's what I just said. It's better. You think it's better? Yeah. Okay. So Jamie. In won. this case. Yeah. One for Jamie. Go ahead, Chris. And you when won this time. Karen. Go ahead, yeah. Karen. Okay. When do you? Become a run-on sentence. Okay, so this is Karen. No, you're not supposed to. <laughs> Come on! Help me out. So run-on sentence. When do you become a run-on sentence? When you're adding too many nor and so out, but all those... Oh, so don't do one and then another and then another and another and then that runs on forever. I think a lot of our students have a tendency to do long sentences, yep. to use lots of words. Yep. Maybe... One main idea per sentence. One. Okay. If you have an embedded idea, a side note that goes with that main idea, fine. But once you get past one or two embedded thoughts or side notes, you, that sentence needs to be done. Just so for our, one main idea. for our computer science students, that's the same way you structure a method. It does one thing, it does one thing well, and that's all it should do. Same thing like a sentence. We can relate this to computer science. Look how geeky yes. I am now. No, huh? it's harmonious. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that's awesome. Okay, comma slices. 